Scaffolding, Scaffolding Writing The Scaffolding Writing Circle consists of four different steps. I will go into more detail with each different step, but first I want to start to give you a brief overview. The first step is to get the topic related knowledge. The next step is to build up the genre specific knowledge. The third step is to write a text together. Only at the very end, at the fourth step, students are asked to write a text on their own. Now I will explain you the four different steps in more detail. You cannot write without knowing something about the topic you want to write about. If you are asked to write a text about a dog, you need to know quite a bit about dogs. You need content-related knowledge. One part of this is a specific vocabulary such as paw, snout, or in German, for example, there is a different word for eating if you talk about animals eating something. Therefore, the first stage of writing should help students to get the knowledge related to their topic. As we said before, if you write non-fictional texts about dogs with your students, children need to know some facts about dogs. Once students have gathered information on dogs, they share their ideas and collect ideas about what to write. This phase can be organized in cooperative learning groups. Speaking comes before writing. Therefore, students talk about what they know. If you write a text, you do not only need content-related knowledge, but also genre-specific knowledge. Therefore, at this stage, children are made aware of the purpose of the text and the structure of the text. The specific use of language for the genre should also be discussed. It is always helpful for students not just to talk about those elements, but to find them in an example of that genre. For example, reading a text about a certain dog with the students and pointing out the aspects mentioned earlier. At the third stage, the whole class writes a text of the requested type. This is about developing a model as well as modeling the writing and thinking process. The teacher's role is quite challenging. You lead the writing, but you must not dominate it. This means you are asked to help students to talk in their stretched language, but you should not do the job. They should be highly active and involved. The fourth and last stage of the writing circle is that your students are now asked to write their text on their own. But some children might still need extra support, such as suggestions for sentences, a list of words and so on. Students should be reminded of the aspects discussed earlier. Now I want to give you an example of how this writing circle of scaffolding works in the classroom. So, at the beginning of the writing process, it's important to get the topic-related knowledge. The next step is to build up genre-specific knowledge. This can also include to read a text of the same kind. Der Adolf Reichwein. The third step is to write a text together and to remind your students why it's doing that of the genre specific aspects of this text. The last step is that students write their own text. Some of them might still get some extra support to do that. War ich Others might be fine writing on their own. Writing in this setting needs time. The huge advantage of such a scenario is 
that language learning is embedded in a context, and words, as well as phrases, are not learned in isolation, but taught in context. This helps the students to develop their language skills and to develop their writing skills.